Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. FabFitFun is hitting us with another sale, endless summer sale. They have really upped their sale game lately. I personally am not gonna be shopping this sale. I am still only shop shopping for the edit and add-on sales, but I thought I would do this video. I recommend saving your money. The endless summer sale is loaded with things like gadgets and clothes and things like that, which are the items that I typically recommend not buying from FabFitFun sales. There are some beauty products and I will talk about them. I am going to go through and record my computer screen just because I think that a lot of people have also started to use my videos as just kind of a reference to see what was available in previous sales and maybe if you're not a member and you're curious what's available in the sale, I'm going to record my computer screen and go through. I don't have nearly as much to say about it other than save your money. I don't think that this is really a sale worth shopping, but that is my opinion. I am I am not an expert. I don't claim to know everything. If you think that there is something awesome in the sale, please, please, please leave a comment in the comment section below and then I will grapple with myself about whether or not I want to buy it. Anyway, it is early in the morning. My husband and baby are sleeping. I fed the baby. He wanted to go back to bed, which was great because now I have a little bit of time to myself. I follow this YouTuber, Olivia Zappo. She's awesome. She does mom stuff and she recommends doing stuff in the morning. That's why I look like this because I can't really... Um, <laughs> I can't really get ready because it's too noisy because it's back where they're sleeping. But I did put on some lipstick. This is Timeless Toffee by Maybelline. It's their 24 hour color stay liquid lip. And I know my Maybelline's not cruelty free, but I bought it before I went cruelty free. And I do recommend them if you're not cruelty free. They have a great formula and they do last a very long time, even through eating. I really like that. So I am nursing the ones that I have because I'm not going to repurchase them now that I am cruelty free. Anyway, we're going to get a whole get into recording my computer screen right now. Okay, so here we are. I guess I did leave two items in my cart. Uh, let's see. Oh, I left the Human and Kind Body Souffle and the Gold Glass Trinket Tray Set, which I don't really want either of those things. Anyway, I'm just going to go through the sale. Like I said, I'm not going to get anything in the sale. Mostly, I just want to record my screen and have it on YouTube for you, if you for a reference if you need it. But I will say what I can. So first of all, we have Murad. If you haven't watched me before, I am cruelty free. So Murad's owned by Unilever. So I don't buy Murad products. I have used a bunch of their products and they're quite good. A lot of them um, before I went cruelty free, I used a bunch of their products. Uh, and so I haven't used this particular product though, but that's my thoughts on Murad. Here is like a home gadget. It's this uh, air cooler. Again, if you need something like this, I don't recommend really getting them from FabFitFun sales, even if it's a little pricier to get it elsewhere. I recommend getting things like this where returns are easy, uh, like Costco or Amazon. I have seen a lot of people complain about uh, uh, it. Uh, receiving items that were faulty and then having trouble getting either a replacement or a refund from FabFitFun. So I steer clear of that stuff. Uh, I do know that I got this in a prior box and I gifted it to my sister and she used it up. She said she liked it a lot and I have seen other people say wonderful things about it. That's why I have one in my cart. I thought about getting another one for my sister. Uh, Anyway, I might still do that, but I'm not sure. I kind of just want to not get anything for the, from the sale. Here's another gadget. So the same story there. Um, here's some those hair ties. These are not the uh, what's the brand? I'm blanking, but these aren't the most popular brand. But uh, if you like these kinds of hair ties, that's $19 for 30 of them. It doesn't seem too bad. Um, okay, so I'm just going to scroll through kind of slowly and say uh, say some things about a handful of products. Um, let's see. There are some things actually in here that if I needed them, I might consider getting them. Like, like a weighted blanket. I can't imagine that being faulty. It's not an electronic thing. If I needed a weighted blanket, I've heard they're great for anxiety. And this is reminding me I really want to donate to NAACP, um, hashtag Black Lives Matter. I really think that that's an extremely important movement right now. 
Um, okay, let's see. Also, like things like kitchen stuff, I'd rather just be able to see it unless you know the brand that's available. I'd rather just be able to see it or buy a recommended brand. Things like their clothes, I'd rather be able to go to, you know, TJ Maxx or Ross or even like Nordstrom Rack and be able to try them on. I can see, I can imagine it being a similar situation with uh, the electronics where you receive it it doesn't fit and then you have difficulty getting an exchange or a refund from FabFitFun. Um, so I would steer clear of that myself. People do like these uh, therapy guns, these mas massage therapy guns, and that could be a good deal. Again, with gadgets, also I, I wanted to mention with gadgets, not again, I didn't mention it before in this video. Uh, a lot of times they're refurbished and they'll say, they'll use the word refurbished refreshed on FabFitFun uh, instead of refurbished. So be on the lookout for that. Ooh, Biagi <laughs> Zip Sack Boost 2-in-1 Carry-On. Interesting. Here's an actual skincare product. I don't know this product or anything about it, but let's see if we can find out. It's $260, is that right? 260 oh, I didn't look at the price even. My goodness. That better give you the eye, eyes of a 20 year old. Let's see. Five reviews on their website, five stars. Better be five stars at that price. I adore this product, great product, best eye cream ever, love, 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 love. But that's on their website. Here's two reviews on Amazon. Oh, this is an eye lifting solution for $450. Wow, that's pricey. If, you, if you've used anything from this brand before, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Okay. More gadgets, hair tools. Get it from Ulta or something where you can try it. Wait for a sale and, I don't know, and spend a little bit more money. Actually, though, I have to admit, I did get my flat, flat iron on a FabFitFun sale. It was a new me one though, and so you can find tons of reviews on the new me brand. So if it's a brand that has a lot of good reviews, people say really good things about it, then go ahead and spring for it. It's just more if you haven't really heard of the brand, you can't find anything on it, and you can find something that seems like a better um, option outside of the FabFitFun sale, I would say go for that. Not to say no one ever has success with gadgets on FabFitFun. Definitely do it and tell me your experience below if you've had quite the opposite um, and maybe open my mind to it because I might consider it. If, I'm, if enough people tell me, no, Kate, you're wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> okay, Kate Somerville, people really like their, her products. Uh, she's, is that part that, blah. Kate Somerville is owned by Estee Lauder, though, and like I said, I'm cruelty-free. Estee Lauder is not cruelty-free, depending on uh, which reference site you look at. There are some, there are multiple reference sites, and some of them have less strict criteria for calling something cruelty-free. So I have heard that there are places where people say Estee Lauder is cruelty-free. I use a fairly strict reference uh, source. It's called Cruelty Free Kitty, and I've talked about it so many times on my channel, and there's a link in the description box below. Um, so anyway, Kate Somerville, I don't buy their products because they're owned by Estee Lauder. Cruelty Free Kitty is, has Estee Lauder listed as not cruelty-free, uh, but people do like her their, their stuff. So um, definitely look at reviews. There are plenty usually for all of her products on Alta. Alta. Okay. Um, the snow lip stuff is very expensive. I haven't looked them up. If you know anything about them, go ahead and leave a comment. Oh, this, is this the, 
this converts into a bed. This is something that I have seen so many people say they really love. They really love it. And um, it seems very useful for guests or like if you have a teenager, you can put it in their bedroom. And if they have a friend over, they can sleep on it. Um, I have seen a lot of people say really good things about that. Okay. They do have a lot of really cute clothing options, but so often you see something you think is cute, you try it on and it doesn't work for you. So What's this boho bundle? Oh, pretty. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. If it's early in the morning, it feels like my voice has that raspy early morning sound to it. Oh, these bidets. My parents bought bidets for a couple of their toilets, and I gotta say, it's kind of nice. <laughs> I wouldn't get a get one here, um, like I, for the reasons that I've talked about. But maybe you're going to let me know in the comments below. Yeah, they do have cute clothes. Lots of flat irons available. I don't know if any of these brands are reputable. If they are, go for it. And let me know if you're getting a massage chair. Wow. Okay, so that's everything that's still in stock. Uh, mystery bundles. I have not had any luck. I've gotten three mystery bundles. I thought I, I said I was going to stop at the first one, and I've gotten two since, and it just doesn't work out for me. So I'm definitely not getting any more. <laughs> I'm going to eat my words on that probably. Okay. So the, this brand, in the past, I've never really been able to find any reviews on their, their items before. Now this has, now this actually has a handful of reviews on their website. Uh, good reviews, one four star review, the rest five stars. Um, it kind of, the brand doesn't really appeal to me. That's also something that I usually say. Just if the brand appeals to you, then maybe get it. But when the brand does, go to the brand's website. If the brand doesn't appeal to you, go ahead and save your money. Oh, just use it as a reason to save your money unless you hear really good things about it. This brand doesn't appeal to me. I'm, it's because of the alcohol theme, and I don't like to drink alcohol. So that's just a personal reason. Um, oh, this... Uh, Shoulded. it oh I thought they had it in the blue again now they have it in the black I bought the blue one it's a, like a bright blue and it is exactly how it's pictured here and it converts into a purse which is super useful um, there it converts into this bag if you need it for that that just looks so useful I bought it. Now I want it if it's really in black. They had the picture of the blue one last time I looked. Well, it's also available on Amazon for the, the retail price. Huh. Interesting. Now I want it in black also. Of course, I'm not going anywhere because of the quarantine. I'm still quarantining. I have a newborn, so especially I'm especially quarantining. He hasn't had all his vaccinations yet. Um, soon he's gonna go for his second round soon but he's just a brand new baby I oh these are the um, this is the other thing in my cart right now they just look uh, like good little gifts and you could even split it up you can give one to one person and one to another person like co-workers or something um, so I thought I, that would be good I am starting to think about uh, Christmas gifts from FabFitFun sales another thing that I usually say is if you're gonna buy Christmas gifts from the sales don't wait till the winter sales they you probably won't get your gifts in time 
start in the fall sales or earlier if you're like me. <laughs> I have a lot of notebooks in this sale. Oh, I almost bought these um, a few sales back when I was pregnant, just in case I got swelling. And I luckily never swelled, so I'm glad that I didn't buy them. Um, that's another tip. <laughs> Don't buy something until you need it. <laughs> okay. Um, so the mud, I have this in the foot cream. And I've been using it lately because I can't, I don't know what I did with my Hey Honey, um, which is my favorite. And it is an okay scent. It's a little bit earthy, kind of clean. Uh, yeah, I can't, that's the best and not great way I can describe it. Um, it's a good scent. My husband gave me a kiss and said I smelled good when I used it. So that's, that's a good sign. <laughs> Uh, it's nice that it's 3.4 fluid ounces, which um, they must have been keeping um, in mind that that's what you can fly with, 100 milliliters. $25? Not worth $25. I will tell you, it's not worth $25. Holy smokes. Wow. Uh, I don't know anything about this one. Let's take a look. I'm sorry, obviously I didn't do too much homework. I just wanted to come on mainly and say that I'm not planning on getting anything from this sale. Of course, now that I'm looking through it, I'm thinking maybe I'll, I'll, I'll reconsider, but um, I'm not readily seeing reviews, uh, enough reviews on this, let's see, to um, go off of this, their website. No reviews on their website and then on Amazon. Eight ratings, four and a half stars. Uh, be careful with Amazon reviews, definitely read them. Sometimes the bad ratings are people that are complaining more about shipping or that the product arrived damaged or something like that. So make sure that you're taking that into account. The hand skin stuff. I do recommend this uh, this set. Um, this essence is amazing. It's very simple. It's just pure hyaluronic. Uh, I don't know if it's pure hyaluronic acid. It's mostly hyaluronic acid. And um, I really, really love the essence. I have the moisture cream from this set. Haven't tried it yet, but others have said that it was um, just, they were just as pleased with it as they were with the skin essence. And then sheet masks. Can't go wrong with a few sheet masks. This um, Elemis, uh, I only found reviews on the Elemis site. It had tons and tons of really amazing reviews about the heavenly smell. Um, the, the negative reviews did talk about the fact that the oil hardened and you do have to heat it up. Um, and then that's, that's a, a way this a property of this oil that it does do that and that the packaging makes it even harder to get it out of so if that's something that might annoy you um, you could think about that LMS though is a wonderful brand I did have this in my cart at first and then I decided I wasn't gonna get anything so I'm not gonna get it wish is a great brand I don't I haven't used that item though Levito is also a brand I recommend I haven't used that item though. People like this, uh, Sela, Sela. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. People like this. Uh, it smells like creamsicle, which I've learned. You're trying products at Fab Fit, through Fab Fit Fun that I'm not a fan of like a cream skull, like a sweet citrusy smell, like vanilla citrus. Doesn't work for me. I've also learned that I don't think that I like when my products smell like food very much. I prefer them to smell more herbal, botanical, spa-like, like you walk into a really expensive massage parlor. That smell.
more Mirad. Um, I believe this is a Korean brand. It has a uh, few reviews. Um, probably through Yes Style. That's what I'm, I'm sure that's from memory from last time that I was available in a sale. Oh, people love this blanket. I remember from the forum a few sales back when it was available. People were really going for it. Rodeo products. I've tried a couple rodeo products. Let's see if this one has any reviews. I'm not terribly impressed by the brand. Influencer. I love looking at reviews on Influencer. Um, you get really, really unbiased reviews there. It, people, I'm a member of Influencer. People go on and leave reviews. Lots of good reviews. Um, people go on there and leave reviews, and they're incentivized because Influencer will send you free PR to test and try on your show, social media. I've gotten some products from Influencer, and it doesn't take much. I don't have a huge following, and I have received um, several products. So if you're interested, you could join Influencer. You connect it to your social media accounts, and then it takes um, a snapshot of how many followers you have on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all of that, and uh, then it will uh, the algorithm will tell Influencer to send you products if they decide that you have enough of the influence. And my influence power is less than 2,000. YouTube is where I have the most friends and followers. I don't have a lot on Facebook or on Instagram, so. You don't need much. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I like looking at reviews on Influencer. These are cute sunglasses. I like those. Okay. Oh, this is darling. Oh, that's really cute. How much does it hold? Four liters. That's super cute. Okay. Um... <laughs> Oh, I love the Kalos brand. I had this product from a cause box, actually, and I gifted it to a coworker for Christmas. I'm not a fan of uh, rose sprays, rose face sprays. They're very popular. <laughs> this looks really interesting. I couldn't find a lot of reviews last time it was uh, available, so I wasn't, um, it, it didn't, sell me to buy it this grown alchemist went out of stock really fast I haven't tried this particular grown alchemist products I have like I have tried a lot and I haven't liked all of them this candle is so pretty they have it available a lot it's so pretty Oh, there's a bee. I'm I'm filming outside. Okay. <laughs> He's gone. The bee's gone. Okay, so there it is. That's everything in the sale. I know I didn't have a lot to say about the products this time around, but I thought I would still do a video and let you know my thoughts in case anyone was curious. I am probably still not going to get anything. I know I joked about now that I'm reconsidering it, but um, there you go. I hope this was helpful or you could use this for reference. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.